Yo, what's going on with you guys? Today, hold on, hold on, hold on. Today, I'm gonna be showing you how to make the most fire melodies you've ever heard in your life. Nah, but for real though, I'm gonna show you how to make some Q-Beat style melodies for people like Southside, Metro, Murder Beats, you know, a lot of people are using his samples now and they're just really dope. So I'm gonna show you how to kind of grasp that style. Before we get into this video, if you guys would follow me on Instagram, always giving stuff away on there for free. Like just last night, um, I gave away like three or four packs of loops to people that were just, I saw being active and commenting. So it could be you next, you never know, so make sure you guys go follow me on Instagram and stay active. One last thing before we get into this video, I actually just dropped a loop kit full of 30 loops for $30. They're all royalty free, fire loops. I made it with my friend KBZ. The link to that is in the description if y'all wanna go check that out. And uh, without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, sweet. So we're in FL Studio, of course. And um, the first thing that I wanna stress is you need to have good sound selection. You don't want to be using like corny sounds. You just want to have real instrument sounding sounds. If that makes sense. So um, I have two bells in here that I'm going to use, and uh, I just they're just normal Omnisphere presets. You know, I didn't use any special banks or anything. I just tried to find acoustic, real sounding bells, and um, I also have an analog synth in there. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw on a melody. So for this style, you want it to sound sort of dark, but not like horror movie scary, but just sort of like have a dark undertone to it. So honestly, for me, I just kind of randomly click stuff in until it sounds good. So uh, I'll let y'all watch me do that. So that's a simple chord and then All right, so that's just a really simple chord progression I made. The more you practice making these type of melodies, um, you'll be able to come up with these a lot quicker and easier. And after I do this with my first sound, I like to add just some extra notes to kind of fill in the spaces in between the chords. All right, so that sounds cool. I think I'm gonna bring this down a couple of notes because it sounds a little too bright right now. Maybe up one more. All right, that sounds pretty fire. So what I like to do after that is I'm um, copy it over and add just a little bit of variation in the next half, so. Like that. So all I did right now is I just copied over the first sound to the second sound. And I think I'm gonna half speed this whole sound to kind of give it just a whole different vibe for the second sound. So I'm gonna go to grow speed and half speed. And it sounds like this. Well, I need to put it up an octave since I'm half speeding it. So this is what that sounds like. Fire. So both of them together. Sounds pretty dope. Last but not least, I'm gonna add this sort of analog synthy sound to put over it, sort of as a lead, I guess. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna draw that in real quick.
That sounds dope to me. I'm just copy that over. All right, so I'm gonna just play this really simple melody I have done real quick. All right, so as you guys can tell, it is definitely not Q beats yet, but it is a cool melody. There's another step and this is the sauce, all right? Now, if you like the melody like this, I mean, you can go ahead and bounce it out and use it, but I'm gonna show y'all how to add the Q beat strip to it. All right, so you're just gonna go ahead and export this melody out of FL Studio. All right, so here's the melody. I went ahead and bounced it out and now I'm gonna show y'all the sauce. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna add a fruity slicer, okay? Go ahead and open one of those and drag the melody you just made into the slicer. You're gonna wanna click this button right here and change it to beat. Now, basically, you're gonna chop up your own melody and uh, just make it into something completely different. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that for y'all real quick. All right, so I chopped it up and uh, this is what I got. So as you can tell, that is sounding fire. Um, the last thing I'm gonna do is copy it over and uh, get a little variation on the second half. So all together, it sounds like this. Now, we're not done. There's still more sauce. So what you're gonna wanna do now is um, you're gonna wanna export this one more time. So I'm gonna do that and be back. Now, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna actually wanna pitch the melody down some. That is fire. So once you have it in that nine bar loop, once again, you're gonna wanna export it and drag it back in. All right, so now we're done exporting finally and we're gonna add one more thing that really gives it the sauce. One thing you can do before we get to the processing is once your nine bar loop plays, you can actually bring it up an octave so that the melody switches up. So just bring it all the way up like that. And like that. All right, now for the sauce, what you're gonna wanna do is um, put your melody slash sample into a mixer track and you guys are gonna need to and you guys need to go get this VST right now. It's free, it's called Unstable. Basically, it's a detune effect, and this is the cue beat sauce. So with the detune, it sounds like this. So that is pretty fire, and um, that's pretty much all the sauce like i don't know what else to explain because that's literally my process like i just gave you all all of my sauce some other tips for you guys that i really didn't think of while i was creating the melody um make sure you keep the melody real simple you know don't have it going crazy because you know q beats never really goes like crazy with his melodies they're really simple but they just have that vibe that makes them so dope so yeah don't go too crazy with them and uh, don't be afraid to experiment um most importantly you know try and do something no one else is doing that's what's really going to set you apart you know when you're making your beats is if you're doing something different thank you guys so much for watching that's about it for the tutorial um before i go like i said make sure y'all follow me on instagram and I stay active because i give stuff away all the time also if you guys do buy my loop kit in the description make sure y'all send me a screenshot to my instagram dm and i'm gonna send you guys five bonus loops just for free for a hit me up and cop in the loop kit all right so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and most importantly learned something from it thank y'all for watching i'm out see y'all